Okay. Welcome to the problem class of Chem 6148. This is the first problem class. And we will do the different questions and I will try to explain how you have to do it in order to get the final contour. Okay, the first question is basically what will be the product of this reaction? We have here a dikiton. Okay, and here the catalyst, in this case the catalyst is proline. That means that we are talking an aldo reaction. When we are facing this type of problem with these two ketones, what we have to do is first of all try to decide which type of reaction we will have. Okay, basically we have two different options. Okay, we can form the enemy in this position or in this position. First of all, we will talk about the ratio selectivity, which type of bicyclic ring we will have. In order to do this, what we need to do is to draw all the possible enemies. Okay, first I will do the enemy with this carbon means that I can do the enamine in this side. I don't put the, the substituent of the proline. Why? Now I am only caring about ratio selectivity. Remember that the carboxylic acid will be very important in the stereo selectivity, but not in the ratio selectivity. Okay, we do this. This enamine will attack here and we will form one, two, three, four, Five member ring. Okay? If we go in the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six. That means that we will get a six, five by cyclo compound. If we do exactly the same but with our enemy, that I will do in red, this will attack here. One, two, three. And if we go in the other way, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 8. Okay, and now I will do exactly the same with with the other carbon group. Okay, I make the enamine. If I do this enamine, one, two, three, four, five. And if I come in the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six. That means I will form five, six bicyclic ring. If I do the other enamine in the other side, this will attack here. One, two, three. Three, and if we call in the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three. And now we decide which is the most possible fused ring formation. Of course, will be the two enamines that will render us a six five by cyclic ring. Okay? Five member rings are very easy to do, six member rings are very easy to do. Eight member rings and three member rings are less stable. That means that if we do this reaction, what we will get is a bicyclic ring 6,5. This is the ratio selectivity. Okay? Now we know what will be the final product. And now we have to ask ourselves which will be the stereo selectivity. Okay? In order to do the selectivity, the first that we need to do is to draw this diketone in three dimensions. How I do it? Basically, I always use the same system. Okay. Okay, this I put the two ketones one in front of the other. This 
ketone that I grow it a little bit more uh, bold will be in front of the, of the whiteboard this ketone will be on the plane of the whiteboard and then the only that I need to do is to grow the catalyst okay I will do exactly the same for this I will grow it now that will be easier and again the rules are the same okay this ketone is in front and this ketone is on the plane, plane of the whiteboard and now the only that I need to grow is the enemy the enemy that we decided that is a good one okay I put here the catalyst and the enemy we decided that is going in this way to form the 6-5 member ring that means this way if the enemy is in this way I have to put the carboxylic acid just on the opposite way and I have, be careful, you have to put the same stereoselectivity that we have in the question if we change the stereoselectivity obviously it will be a mistake ok? if we do exactly the same here here the graphic will be a little bit more nasty not so much okay. and again I draw the carboxylic acid with the same configuration that in the catalyst if you see here we form this enamine in this side and what is happening is that we have this attack from here to the carbonyl group from here to the carbonyl group from here to the carbonyl group ok? this is the transition state that we will have check that I put this substituent going down I don't grow all the substituents because basically we don't care this is going down, this is going down, we don't care how are the substituents which are these substituents, it's all this cycle ok, the same here this is not important, I will show you after why it's not important now, if we remember how is working the allo reaction what we need, when we are using proline as a catalyst we need that the carboxylic acid coordinates by hydrogen bonding with the other carbon group that means we need to do a hydrogen bond between the hydrogen of the carboxylic acid and the carbonyl that is attacking and same here, we have to do a hydrogen bond we do it here, we have, remember this ketone is in front of the slide this carboxylic acid, if this is planar, is going in front of the slide that means that this coordination is possible ok? if this is going in front of the slide and this is in front of the slide basically the coordination is quite easy on the opposite, on the opposite hand, when we are doing this, this is in front of the slide the carboxylic acid is coming in front and the ketone that we want to activate is here simply this interaction will not take place, it's impossible ok? here is a ketone, here is a carboxylic acid and the ketone that we want to activate is here it's going in opposite directions that means this transition state will not work why? because we don't have the coordination between the carboxylic acid and the other ketone ok? with the other carbon it's not possible by geometry by 3D, here is the, the ketone and the carboxylic acid is going to you instead of going to the whiteboard here is the opposite the enemy is in the plane of the whiteboard this is in front and the carboxylic acid also is coming in front that means that the coordination will be very easy this will be the right transition state and then we only need to draw it ok? 
één. And we will get this final product after hydrolysis. If we do it in three dimensions, if you cannot see it well, what we will have is When we make this planner, we have a six-member ring, basically. What we have is draw is substituents, that is all of this. You can count electrons and you will have the six five ring, rings, basically ring. Okay? And when we do it, this planner, this hydrogen is up and this electron is up. Okay? That means how we do this exercise. First, we have to know which ratio selectivity we have. Okay, basically we can choose between a 6-5 a or a 3-8. Obviously 6-5 is more stable, or two rings more stable. And then, when we know the ratio selectivity, we draw the two possible enamines, with this enamine, the blue enamine, and the blue enamine, and we check in which one of them we have a coordination between the carboxylic acid and the other carbonyl group. The one that has this coordination will be the right transition state is the transition state that will lead to the final product. Okay? Right? Okay, second one is very similar. Now what we have is this bicycle. We are reacting with this problem. Okay? How we do this exercise? Exactly the same than before. First, we draw all the possible enemies. All the possible enemies. Okay? We will do first the enemy with this carbon group. Okay? First enemy, we can do it in this side. This is attacking the other ketone. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on the other side, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5-7 ring. If we do the enemy on the other side, in red, we will have here 3, 1, 2, 3, and on the other side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3, 9. We do exactly the same but with the other With 
dollar keton. Okay, first the blue. This will attack here. That means one, two, three, four, five. And on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, seven. If we do the other ermine on the other side, this one, two, three. On the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Which will be more stable? Obviously, the bicyclic 5.7 will be more stable than 3.9. That means that this will be the product that we will get. The 5.7. This will be the product that we will get. When we answer the ratio selectivity, what we will do is to answer the stereo selectivity. And again, how I do it? Exactly the same as before. I draw this in three dimensions. Okay, I put this ketone in front of the of the whiteboard and this is behind is in the plane of the whiteboard. I draw here the same. And again I put the substituent pointing down. Okay, but I don't care to grow it because if I grow it the, the growing will be more difficult. Okay? And doesn't, doesn't have any interest, the rest of the molecule. All what will happen will, be, will become from these two carbon groups. Okay? Then, grow the enamine. First, I will grow the enamine of this ketone. Okay? The enamine, we decided that is in this side. To get the 5,7, that means the Carboxylic acid must be in this side. This is attacking here. And we have to see if we can coordinate this carboxylic acid with the carbonyl group. If this is in the plane, the carboxylic acid is going behind the wall, behind the whiteboard. Yes? While this ketone is in front. That means no possible contact. There are no possibility that we make the hydrogen body. That means that this transition state will not work. Now we draw the other transition state. Okay? The enamine has to be in this side, okay, in order to form the 5-7 member ring. And now I draw the same catalyst, the protein. Okay, now we check. This is in front. Where is going the carboxylic acid? Behind. That means the carboxylic acid is going in the direction of the other ketone. Now we can have very easily a coordination between the carboxylic acid and the ketone. And this coordination is not important only to know the stereo selectivity but also to activate. This is why this will be the active form, this will be the right transition state. We draw it in this way. Okay, that means that the final compound will be will be like this. If we grow it in planar form, that means we grow it like if we watch it from in front, what we will get is
one, two, three, four, five, the five member ring, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the seven member ring. Okay? Right? Okay, what is difficult here? Basically, we have to be very ordered. I mean, first do the ratio chemistry, once we know the ratio chemistry, then check the steady selectivity. And you will see that when you grow one ketone in front of the other ketone, in one case, you will have an easy coordination between the carboxylic acid of the proline with the carbonyl group, and in the other case, we don't have any coordination. Okay, the coordination will go very far away one of the carboxylic acids at the ketone. And then what we have here, the only that we need is to transform here, if we saw it from up, it's like this, very easy to grow it. And this is a result. Okay? Remember, step by step, and you will never have any problem to do this exercise. Okay, then we go for the second part of the exercise. We have this compound. And we read this with This is only a description, this ring, in reality, doesn't work for anything. We have to do exactly that we, do it, that we did before. First, we focus in the ratio selectivity. Okay. I know, for example, I start with this ketone. I can have two different enamines. I do this with blue. Okay, this will give one, two, three, four, five. Five member ring in the other side, one, two, three, four, five. Five, five. If I do exactly the same, but with red, the other enamine. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, seven. And I do the exactly the same with the other carbon group. I make the enamine. I start with this. If I do this enamine, the blue, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If I do the enemy on the other side, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, I have to choose which is more stable. Obviously, a bicycle, five, five will be more stable than not a bicycle, three, seven. That means that this will be the enemy that we will consider in order to do the stereo selectivity. Next step, how I do the steady selectivity. The same than before. Forget that we have an aromatic ring here. I draw it, the two ketones, one in front of the other, in the same way than before. Okay, this ketone in front, the other behind, and the two substituents going down. Okay, remember, this ketone is in front, this is on the, on the plane of the whiteboard, this ketone is in front, this is on the plane of the, on the whiteboard. And then, I draw the enamine. Okay, 